Hello guys, welcome in. Today we're going to be doing a clockwork syringe. The uh, starting point is your player owned house. Uh, it says that all you need is some combat gear, some potions, anti-poison, maybe some food. You just have an overload, some prayer, and then some food just to be safe. Uh, it doesn't say that we need anything else other than that. We just have to beat a couple different things. So, um, if you're wondering about the fishbowl helmet and the diving apparatus, it does say that you can get those during the quest. So if you don't have them ahead of time, don't worry about it. You'll be able to get some other stuff. This will be your near real-time quest guide. I've got the timer up here just so that you guys are able to see exactly what to expect. Once you get outside your home, if you do the home teleport, I am going to go ahead and start the timer. Uh, it says to try and enter and go to a clockwork syringe, and there's a special delivery note. And we need to read the delivery note, accept the quest, go ahead and close that, enter your house, option four, followed by option one. And then we're going to investigate the large crate and then choose option number one. Then we're going to kill the level 98 barrel chest. Should not be very hard for anyone at all. Uh, unless it is. I'm quite sure. Okay, there we go. Wrong ability bar. Whoops. That's why this is a near real time quest guide. This is a realistic expectation time quest guide. If you will. Oh, hey. You fucked all me doors. Okay. So once you kill that, we need to talk to the estate agent. Oh, all my doors are fixed. Can't reach that. Interesting. And then we're going to speak to the old zombie head after this. And we're going to use all five options on torture. So one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four. And whatever comes up next. Five. Talk to the head once it gains maximum stress. All right, so we've got the head, and then we are supposed to go to port. Uh, blip, 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 blip. Uh, fast Maddies. So, I did not bring my Ectovial. So we're going to take the old Lodestone. And, uh... We're going to look for the ship called the Adventurous. Looks like I got some herbs that I have to pick up. We won't do that now, though. Sorry, I don't have me blade to dive. Head and enter the city if we can. Beautiful. The adventurous. Looks like it's maybe this one. Yep, built each. Awesome. And then we're going to choose option number two.
Okay, so we need to go to Moss the Harmless. So I think we should be able to charter from here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we just need to take the, talk, talk to Bill. Travel. Oh, here we go. And walk north to Harpoon Joe's House of Rome. Harpoon Joe's House of Rome. Sit in the chair in the northeast corner. That would be this one. And ask Joe for a long drop. Option number one. Then we're going to talk to Bill and explain what happened. We're going to place the zombie head on the table. And then we're going to talk to Bill again. Okay, so we're going to climb up the ladder and use the teleport scrolls option to travel to Brain Death Island. Let's say here that you might need some emergency teleports. Use the teleport scroll to Brain Death Island. And then we're going to talk to Captain Brain Death to get the diving apparatus and whatnot. Oh, I repeat. Where? Is Mr. Brain Death out oh, there? You are. Looks like we're about halfway done at this point. So we're going to talk about a clockwork syringe. We're going to climb down the wooden stairs to the southwest. These are right here. Alrighty, and we're just going to be right on our way. Head north past 50% Luke and open the gate. Wait, something doesn't seem right here. There we go. Doesn't say to talk to 50% Luke, but... Oh yeah, we could just walk right past him. And open the gate. Head north past the two bridges. The gate's so small. Until you reach the entrance to a resource dungeon. Enter with your mysterious diving apparatus and fishbowl helmet equipped. And kill a crab for an achievement. Awesome. Go down all three paths and investigate their workers' bodies. Uh, 
Alright, that's one. We got Jimmy. We are almost one. I'd say we're, this is about the halfway point, just judging by the best guide. And then we got the last one all the way. Unfortunately, this is going to be an area that you cannot surge in. So this is quite a small little time stall right here. But not that bad. All right, we're going to go ahead and get our last name right here. And we got Trent. We look, Jimmy, Trent, Rory. All right, so we're gonna go back to Captain Brain did. We, nope, okay. Thought we'd check if we could quick teleport. You cannot. Yeah, feel free to kill a crab in there. Apparently you'll get uh, a little bit of a bonusito. A little bono. That guy's employee of the month. Alright, let's talk to Captain Brain Death. I'm going to choose option one every time. I'm ready. Alrighty. We are going to go to Mosla Harmless with the scroll. <laughs> and then we're going to go back to Joe's pub. And we're gonna sit in the chair and ask for a thing to go in the basement. Press an option number one. We're gonna talk to Bill Beach. A long drop. Talking to Bill Teach. All right, we got the unlock. Open the box. Okay. And then we're gonna pick option one, then option one once more. The third time option one, then option two. And then we're just gonna pick whatever option we can get. And then after the makeover, we're going to talk to Bill again. Doesn't say any particular chat option, so I'm going to let this go ahead and do its thing. All right, and after that, it says to go up the ladder. I'm going to go back to Bill's ship. Cross the gangplank and talk to him. And then use the clockwork syringe option. Which is, should be option number two. Then option number one to agree, I believe. 
Alrighty, Bill. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Talking about Clockwork Syringe. And we are ready to go. Then once you do that, you're gonna talk to Bill again. And we're gonna... Does option three. And still got the weird head. All right, cool. All right, so we're going to climb down this ladder. Then we need to climb down the next ladder to get to the lowest level. Then we need to Open and search the gun locker. Open and search the repair locker. Take three gunpowder. Two, three. Awesome. Then we're going to take a barrel from the barrel stack. We use the gunpowder on the chain. Use the anvil to smith the chain and cannonball together. Use your cannonball and chain on the barrel to receive a cannonball barrel boat. Go up the ladder to the main deck. Click on the Eastern Cannon. And click Take Ride Cannon. And then travel to Blood Splatter Isle. One, two, three, four sections to go. Hold tight. We are going to investigate this rock with some option. Does not matter what. The next option will be option number two. You must steer him around while Look, dropping cannonballs on the barrel chest. This is hard. All right. We got to beat these barrel chest fellers. That is way harder than it should be. Significantly harder than it should be. Oh my gosh. All right, we got three out of the four. Piloting a pigeon has never been this hard before. Here we go. Let's go. We did not do that right.
This fuck. This fuck. Oh, you, you fucking thought you trick ass bitch. There we go. Got him. Got him, chief. Ooh. Did not get that one? Did we not? Did not. Uh, uh. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So. Did that. Leave the eyeball diving on the pier and swim. Option number one. We're going to talk to Bill Teach on his ship. Probably got to climb up the old captain's ladder. There he is. Which is option number two. Walk in the middle of the factory building in order to get caught. So that is what we're going to do next. In the middle of the factory building to get caught. All right. This looks pretty in the middle. And we're caught. All right. So we're going to need to escape our cell. Can we just walk out the door? Awesome, we escaped our cell and clicked a surgical mask. Village created bandages. All right, we got one roll of bandages, one surgical mask, barrel from the barrel thing. And Barrel chest parts. Okay. Using your signaling point at the end of the dock. We're going to signal Bill. Signal. Awesome. Signal the adventurous. Yes. Get a disguise from Bill, option one and one. Awesome. And then we're going to Talk to Bill again, and ask to go to the island. Okay, and it says, take three barrels from the stack. And three gunpowder from the barrel. One, two, three. And one, two, three. And then we're going to change into our disguise. It has to be in a three by three area around. Keep that in mind. So we're going to collect evidence now. And we need letter one is in the south west room. Sabotage the gas canister, the southern gas canister. Tell a joke on each of the disorderly and then brutalize each one. I'll joke. There you go. And then we're gonna brutalize all of them. They'll never see it coming. And then we're gonna investigate the notice board. Mm 
Oof. Need an inventory space here. Three. Looks like we'll need five inventory spaces. There's one. We're gonna kill these two in the western. Gotta kill each. Oh, so we're gonna kill all three of them. Eventually. What's happening here? Cannon this guy. Get the old stun on him. Nope. Nope. You can't not do this, Billy. Not keep running away from your problems like you like your father. Yep, you can't do this, Billy. You can't keep running away from your problems. <sighs> Billy never learned from his father. The only thing Billy learned from his father was how to run away from his problems. But those problems came back to haunt him. Investigate the notice board after killing them. Alright, and then we're going to find the drunk zombies lying on the beds in the northwest room. Then investigate the notice board. Perfect. Looks like we're going to be making our way in a counterclockwise or a clockwise sort of motion. Loosen each of the three undead arms on the northeast room, then inspect one of the arms. Finally, investigate the notice board. All right, cool. I'm going to do this one. We're already right here, so. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Guthix World Guardian shouldn't be watching this. We're supposed to be guarding the world here. Not looking like a zombie head in a barrel. And then we investigate the notice board. Then lastly, use the gu three gunpowder on each of the barrels. Finish the three barrel chest. Finish the incomplete barrel chest, yep. Got it. We're going to finish each of the three of them. And then we're going to detonate them. And then we're gonna investigate the notice board. Perfect. Then we are going to change out of the barrel chest disguise and we're gonna return back to Bill. Oof, that guy's, that guy's a little rascal. Really gets you. Open the old door. 
And we're going to head back to Bill by signaling him. And press option one. Then we're going to talk to Bill on board the ship. And then go back to Blood Splatter Island and head to the easternmost room. Looks pretty easternmost. Pull the lever to activate the three conveyor belts. Wrong lever. Left click the conveyor belts to load the load keg, load keg, load keg. One, two, one, two. Oh. Load keg. Load the old keg. Got ourselves a bit of a kega. Yep. Continue loading conveyor belts until each of the conveyor belts explodes. That's two out of the three. And that's three out of the three. All right. Pretty straightforward. This has to jump the wall of the conveyor belts between the conveyor lines and head east through the door Opening the duct. Climb down the ladder at the end of the docks. Then we are going to board the unoccupied zombie boat and sink all the boats. Oof, this is a tough game, it looks like. A little bit of RNG for the old quest. Not quite sure how much health we have. Hmm. Ooh, we're on to them. We are on to them. Hmm. Looks like this might be the lengthiest part of the quest. Doing this little mini game here. All right, we got one boat, like battleship, but different. 
Two boats. Oh. I didn't see the health bar for my boat. Interesting. Oh, I see. It's on the bottom there. Maybe not. Maybe it's somewhere else. I can't see it. It might have been glitched before. Yeah, I think it might have been glitched before. Ah, uh, okay. Wait a couple seconds. Make sure we're not going to get murdered again this is luckily the last part of the quest just want to say thank you guys for coming in for the real ish time quest guide hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day if you guys haven't already and you guys do like having a poorly voiced over and verbally directed um, quest exper experience. I still will have uh, 32 quest points to go after this. So if you guys want me to continue doing these, I will keep doing them. Leave some semblance of a message down below in the comments and I will keep doing them. Or, alternatively, don't. It's also an option. I'm still probably going to keep doing them. I have decided that I'm going to work towards trim. As tedious as that may be, I think it's doable. Murphy is evasive. Look at how evasive they are. One more. Ugh. And get our repairs up. We just need to land one more. Then we just got a little bit of talking to do. We'll be all done with the old quest. That's all it takes. All it takes. Back Murphy in the old corner here. Oof, Murphy's got us backed into a corner here. And repair the old boat. Alright. One time, Murphy. One time. One time. Beautiful. Thank you. You stood still for us, Murphy. Nice little barrel boat minigame. All right, now we've sunk all the boats. Got to walk up the stairs. Talk to Bill. Then we're going to go back to Joe's basement. Just remember, once you get to Joe's uh, crab shack, you need to sit in the stool. Press option number one for a long drop. Beautiful. 
And then we just have to talk to Bill again. Yep. And just like that, you are all complete with the quest. Only took about 39 minutes. Got a little bit of Smith and XP. A little bit of combat. Access. And a spell sheet. So. Pretty cool. Thank you guys for stopping in. We will see you guys in the next quest video. Or alternatively, in the next Zami video. Uh, next quest will probably be Nomad's Elegy. Maybe Pieces of Hate to continue the quest line. Got a, you know, quite a bit left if we look through the old quest log. We got 16 more to go, so. 16 weeks of doing quests. Hopefully you guys enjoy. We'll see you next time.